Hello and welcome to another social distancing vlog from Coastal World. Uh, this time we are in Bold in St Helens and we've come to the old colliery, Bold Colliery, uh, which closed in 1985, which is only two years after I was born, believe it or not, uh, after 110 years worth of service. Um, there was a couple of shafts here, uh, around about five meters, uh, and digging out all the coal from underground. And it's now turned into like a country park, sort of nature reserve, which um, has a lot of species of animals within it. And uh, this colliery, um, obviously, park is built on the actual spoil and waste that came from that colliery uh, so we're going to have a look around and see what remains so here we actually have one of the wheels from one of the shafts um, so you can imagine obviously the cable would have ran around that and uh, lowered the lift down into the shaft for the coal workers to actually go down and dig the coal out. So um, yeah, we're going to take a walk along this path, have a look at what else we can find. There's also lagoons in this area, which would have been where the pits were. Um, so we'll hopefully be able to take a look at those as well. Right, so uh, come across this, it says, the Lake Viewpoint Main Entrance Car Park. Um, so, not really sure where Are these arrows, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, got. Ah, I see. Yeah, it's a sign. So, the Lake Viewpoint is that way. The main entrance and car park is behind me. So uh, I'm not sure which way to go, but obviously we've got this bridge over here, which I'm quite interested in to going over. So we'll head that way, um, which I assume is to go that way, and we'll find the lake or the old um, the lake lagoon where it was. So just came off the uh, beaten track a little bit, obviously we've got the road down there. But just inside, I'd say this is all off the spoil from uh, the colliery. Um, this is what it's created on. And I've actually just found pieces of coal actually just lay on the ground. And there's loads of it. Uh, you know, there's little chunks just all over the place. So yeah, you can actually find real coal and um, even like in the actual footpath itself, bits of coal here. So uh, yeah, if you've got a coal fire and you can't afford to heat yourself in, in the night time, come down here and pick some coal up. So we were just looking down here, obviously you can see this hole here, and what did I pull out? Look at that for a big chunk of coal. Absolutely massive chunk, and you'd think it'd be heavy, but it's not, it's really light. But yeah, definitely, uh, you know, get your winter fuel allowance down here. So, uh, coming up this path, there's a tree falling over, so um, I'm going to be brave and uh, walk under it. You can even see around here. Look, chunks of coal. 
and things all around under this tree. Yeah, we're going to head under here now. No wonder these uh, culprits didn't make much money in the end. Not when, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the coals just left around. Look at this. Oh, that's a chunk. I'm not going to pull it out. Ow! Just bang me head on the tree. <laughs> Right, so uh, following the path around and notice this, quite steep and there is something on top of it so uh, I'm wondering whether to take a look the only thing is if I take this ramp and then find that there was an easier footpath on the other side I'll go mad but um, should we go up? there's a couple of ways bad luck to it, I could go that way don't know which way would be easier so yeah Let's uh, go up this way. I'm not running it. Oh my god, this is going to be steep. Oh, it's not easy. And obviously, you can imagine this would have been a big mound of all the rubbish from the colliery. Just left behind after Maggie Thatcher closed all the coal mines down. Let's say this one shut 1985. I think most of them did around about the same time. Oh, nearly at the top. Uh, oh, you get a good view up here. Wait till you see this. Oh, and here we are. Wow, what a view guys, definitely worth it, a power station over there as well, god I'm out of breath, let's see what's on this, absolutely nothing, somebody's just carved into it, I have no idea what that was supposed to be, I bet you there was a plaque on there which would tell you where everything was. Someone's nicked it. Now we're not all that far from, uh, I don't know if you remember, going to the Dream statue. It's just over there. Don't know if you can see that. See if I can get my finger in. It's going to be a fat finger, but just above my finger there, there's the dream from uh, Sir Anthony Gormley. So, uh, have a look at the other vlogs and you'll see that video from when we visited there a few weeks back. But no, this view is absolutely great. And there's places to sit as well. Right, so uh, come across this lake, which is actually a lagoon, and uh, I mean the water is so clean. Just look at this water. Now this would have been what we think would have been um, where one of the pits were. So there's probably a shaft here, so it probably drops very rapidly in the middle, where there would have been. Uh, the shaft going down underground and it does make you wonder if under here all the mines are probably still there flooded and if there's any sort of uh, like memorabilia from that any of the old pickaxes I mean you think if this has been here since 1875 there's got to be something here but um, yeah we just came down the path there came across it just seems weird that there isn't any like ducks or anything like this but you can see every now and then um, like a fish jumping out the water but it's really peaceful there's like there's just absolutely nothing here you know but nobody about there was a guy with his dog when we first arrived but he doesn't seem to be about anyone oh you can see the fish just came out there 
where them circles are. Really interesting this. I mean all this would have been all the spoil from digging this out and building up the sides so yeah I definitely think this is one of the pits. There were two pits here. Just can't get over how clean it is. I wouldn't say it's a blue lagoon though, so but it's certainly uh, going to be deep in the middle that. So we just come round the other side of the lake, so we were just there before when I was filming. And uh, we come round the other side, look at the sun setting, reflecting on the water. That looks absolutely beautiful. And then uh, this goes round, I'm not sure if it goes all the way round and just comes back to there. Or whether it's just a, a little stream or something. Um, but yeah. So uh, we're just going to follow the path around, see what's around here. Um, I'm going to have a look for some bridges and things as well. So there's loads of different paths along here, um, but I haven't a clue which way we're actually going at the moment, but we'll find it. But uh, yeah, the local yobs have been here with their gas, doing what they, what they call their balloons. But uh, yeah, let's have a look around here, let's see where we're going, I haven't a clue. I know we're close to a railway line because I've heard a few trains go past. So yeah, um, it's just going all the way around. I think we're just going to come back around the other side of the lake to be honest. Following this path, I think the lake is just over there. Let's keep going, let's see where it leads. Got a couple of stone bridges coming up here. I uh, don't think we're going over these ones though. Just like a drainage ditch or something. Would have been a path. We we'll go over that one. There's another one over there. But just found what they call the Millennium Bridge. These are just storm drains, by the looks of it. Should we see what's underneath? I'm not going to crawl through. Not army style. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, just around this corner now is the Millennium Bridge. So we're going to go and have a look at this, see what it crosses over. There is quite a few bridges in this park. Um, another one we're trying to look for is uh, the wheel bridge um, might not find it but we'll certainly give it a good look to see if we can find it well this looks a mess I don't get why people have to destroy things like this and then you look at this bridge it's not in the best condition I don't know if you can see it up close but it does really look a mess and it goes over the railway line. But yeah, it's filthy, it's covered in graffiti. 1992. Well, that's when it was put there. It's been a long time. Then again, I don't know when this was built. If it was a Millennium Bridge, I'd have expected year 2000. But yeah, it's filthy. Um, there's the railway going through the middle of it all and I think we've got a plaque here if it hasn't been vandalised let's have a look and surprise surprise it's not there it's gone probably sold for scrap 
Right, so uh, I've just asked for some directions actually uh, from some locals who were really helpful um, and who've just told me um, we haven't even spotted it but there apparently is a bronze egg like a giant egg down here with a plaque which um, describes what it's for uh, they've also tried to give us some directions to the other bridge that we're trying to find as well um, obviously not from being around here oh wow now this is a big egg <laughs> oh wow it's like a giant easter egg what's this um Changing places, 2000 AD, breaking the mould, uh, 10 of 21, uh, artist Andrew McCown, McEwen, okay, yeah, looks like a giant Easter egg, it's huge, oh I see, because that's, that's the mould isn't it? So, or is it an egg, or is it a walnut or something, I don't know. It looks like, that actually looks very rude in that position. Oh wow, um, yeah, but it's solid, whatever it is. Could be a walnut, it could be an egg, it does look like an egg. But yeah, I like the, uh, the name of it, obviously this is the mould for it, so the mold's broken and there's this egg right well uh, that's it for this vlog uh, hope you enjoyed that now we couldn't find the pit wheel bridge now I don't think it still exists actually because I'm thinking that the wheel that we saw at the beginning was it and they basically pieced it back together as a full wheel uh, we did find another bridge which seems quite new so it could have actually replaced that um, but yeah we found uh, quite a bit um, but yeah thanks for watching give me a like if you enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe and uh, we'll see you very soon bye